Welcome, Gov fans. This is Richard Turner alongside Jeff Bird for the uh, Farragut Admirals versus the Governors. And uh, it's going to be a uh, tough matchup today against probably the number one rated team in the state, if not the country. Exactly. So. And, and I'm trying to think, uh, Brooks was saying the other day that most of these guys, I don't know how many deep they go, but most of them are Division One signees. So. <laughs> yeah, well, I was talking to uh, uh, Carson's dad earlier. He said their backup catcher is D1. Yeah, I, I think I'd heard that some <laughs> of them that don't even get to see the field are Division One. I'm like, grief. So. Yeah. So that sets the stage. Uh, if you're here, we're also on the radio day today right. with uh, Truth Radio, a.m. 1470. So we welcome... Everybody listening in, we will do our best to not make idiots of ourselves. But so we'll I see. can't promise anything. Yeah, more than likely that's going to happen. <laughs> but uh, we'll try to keep it. Uh, we'll try to keep it to where there's something on air all the time, so you don't. You're just not driving. And you're like, what in the world just happened? Because uh, they just quit talking. We let those guys on here, right? <laughs> so we we start humming or so. It's because we run out of stuff to say. <laughs> so that's why I told several people. Is don't realize how much time filler you got to come up with. So. <laughs> yeah, it's easier when it's just when it's not as much on the radio because yeah. you know they can just see what's out in front of us, and we're just there to act like we're paying attention. To Clarkson, Clarkson throws the first a little high. Got out number out. one. There we go. So your lineups today: you got Kate Kale uh, McNamara on the. On the uh, mound, um, you got. I'm going down the lineup as well as we start here. We got Carson Hard playing second, Mark Sacramento's at third, Nate Ray's at first, Cole Hendrickson's your catcher, Davis Nitri will be your DH, Ethan Miller your left fielder, Hunter Stewart center field, Brooks Bird is in right field. You got Caden Clarkson, and I'm not sure where. Not sure what's going on with him. Oh, he's in the he's in the lineup. Yeah. Pop up to short. Hey. Oh, ran, ran a tough shot. Got a chance to tag it. Horse out. Oh yeah. I forgot the guy was on first because I was going through this thing, there so I missed are. that whole thing. Yeah. Um. So. And that was the uh, William Blunt side of the side of things and I'm trying to read this thing and I'll do my best here but you got Lucas Buckner playing shortstop Landis DeVita is in right field for a fair get Jake Merrick is the second baseman Eli Evans will be playing at third Michael Delph at first Brennan Siegler center field Charlie Bozeman in left Gavin Brewer is your DH Mason Groob, I think that's Groob, catcher. And then you got Braxton Lewis will be the pitcher. So you got one on, one out, and a 2-0 count. <clears throat> and Kel McNamara, McNamara is on the mound. I think the uh, plan that I heard tonight for William Blunt side of things is Trying to kind of throw the whole kitchen sink at them. So Why not? Let's throw out just different guys to pitch and play around here, see what we can do. Well, there's no doubt they came here to win the game. So we'll start with that. Uh, you know, the goal is to win the game. Runner goes, throw down, not in time. So they got runners at runner at second with one out. Your count's 2 1. You know, secondarily, it's a great opportunity to see what you got. Exactly. Yep. You know, uh, kind of a David and Goliath situation here. You now, if you strike out a few batters, that's a heck of a job. You know, if you get hits, that's a heck of a job. So either way, but like I said, you come here to win. Throw it out on the line and see what happens. That's why they play them. In other words, they just not show up. Wouldn't that's, need to. That's true. Speaking of showing up, how is it being the uh, star that you are and you just show up like one minute before the we well, go live? Well, that is part of my contract, you know. Yes. So. 
That, I'm guaranteed at least one hot dog off the situation, right? So. <laughs> I think you said you were doing TCAP stuff today. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are fun days. Yeah, I teach uh, virtually for a virtual school, so our students. Balls on the way. Throw down the third. Oh, Not in time. Uh, well, our students come from all around East Tennessee, and we have to meet a local central position or area, and that's Knoxville. So it's this week and next. So you had to throw down the third. It was just left of the bag. If it was on target, it would have had a chance. Runners at third and second. One out. You got one ball and no strikes. Next pitch is a ball on the outside. I got to figure out how to show the, that's Eli Evans that's batting right now. Outside. Outside pitch, yep. Three zero count. Delivery. Strike. Here we go. Nice pitch. Yeah. So last week was a washout. Yeah. <laughs> for at least for the home games, anyway. Yeah. It worked out in my favor because I was out all week. <laughs> I think you planned that. Didn't yeah, you? I did. I yeah. did. Fouled out of play on the right side. Strike two, three. It's got a full count. Runners at second and third. Yeah, we were trying to figure out how to make all that stuff fill in. I, I think uh, Sean did something Saturday, is that right? Yeah, he did. I, yeah. I had uh, our youngest son was in basketball down in Loudoun, so I had to go do that. And then, so Fonts Advice said he'd take over the uh, fans in the stands. So he ran that, did a good job with it. So you got to see a good ball game. Yeah, well, I guess we're taking applications for next year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and yep. ball four walks them loaded. It's not quite Place what you want to do in the first one. Now batting number 24, Michael Bell. In a game like this, you don't want to be walking them. You want to give it to them, right? You at least make them hit the home runs, right? <laughs> That's right. Time called. Mountain visit. Yeah, we were up at uh, Lakeway the other night, went into uh, – Bottom of the 11th and got beat on a walk-off single. I, I saw that. I, yeah, I, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> that Sounds was, like that fun. Was a long night of baseball. So. I heard it was a good game, though. It really was. It really was. Evenly matched on every position. Like, we were locked up at um, six for a long time, like four innings or so, and then finally they broke it loose on us. Played Maryville before that, so that was a that was a good game. Uh, Brooks pitched that one, but had a few little things in the behind, you know, out in the field. That was it wet out there. I mean, what? Because I know that their was, infield is turf, right? Yeah. That was the game they did were it supposed rain? to play here. Did it rain that day? Yeah, it During did that morning. So yeah, but it wasn't raining that night. Yeah, yeah they we had to go out there and play, and we were visitors. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's surprising. Yeah, yeah, it was. And so they kind of worked in their favor there late in the innings. Huh. I figured they would have to give you the home field. I don't know how they go well, on the tennis court. I always pray it doesn't hit somebody. <laughs> so O2 is the count. Base is loaded. The batter is uh, Michael Delf. McNamara's on the mound. Hey, ground out, double play, get out of this thing. Works for me. There's the and there's a line drive. He's got a chance to throw him out at first off the catch. Nice play by, play by, that's Brooks, right? I called him. All right. Got it. Like, what took him so long to call him out? I know. It's like the guy out in the field looked to the guy at home plate for the call. Yeah, and that's that's a tough play. Tough play. I mean, well, yeah, the home plate guy's got to call that, I think. No, he called it safe. Called him safe? Come on, man. No way. Is that Mike Piazza behind the plate? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Never looks like a young Mike Piazza. Not the same size, but. Oh, my goodness. Hey, y'all tell us on uh, 
Y'all tell us on the replay. Do your DVR function and tell me where the – like, did they say he was pulled off the bag? I think that it was a reach for Nate to go to the right side over there, but I thought he kept his foot now. Fans for William Blunt are saying any way to get a win, right? <laughs> well, the good news is there's no tag up. Right. So the score is still a big goose egg. Man, I thought he was out. I didn't I think did it was too. close. The timing, it was unless they thought he came off the back. I think that was what he was looking at. But I don't think he came off the back. Because if he did, Mike Piazza there would have said, you know, he would have motioned yeah. to it. Like, that's the one thing he did know. Well, we hope the baseball gods are smiling down on us and we'll return the favor. We can Sorry, it's going to Mike Piazza. That's my, that's my thing for now. I got Mike Piazza. Got to go it. with it. Hopefully he's not framing pitches. <laughs> there we go. Got us that one. I forget you're not watching on the radio. That was an outside pitch right on the corner that caught, that was called for a strike. It's our first game on the radio. Be, be patient with us when we're like, you know, I don't know what's going on. We'll, we'll do our best. 2-1 pitch. Bases loaded. Two outs. Way outside. Hits a backstop. Everybody stays, though. So now the count's 3-1. McNamara can still get out of this. Just get you an out. That's a nice pitch. Should be a strike. It, it is on the outside corner again. Holt did a good job pulling that one back in. Yep. Quick. What number is that better? I'm trying to... Is that... 17. Uh, Brennan Siegler. 3-2 count. Everybody's moving. Big pitch fouled away. Everybody resets. All right, it's 3-2. You're going to reset it. And everybody's going to start running again on the pitch. You ready, guys? Here we go. That's low. ball low. One zero. -oh. It's right over the center, but low. You're out. Base is loaded still. All right, that's going to bring up Charlie Bozeman, your left fielder for Ferry. That's Ferry's. a baseball name, isn't it? It is. Good I just pitch. I just found out couple weeks ago that I got to go to Bozeman, Montana in August okay. for the first, I think the first football game of the whole season of all of college football. <laughs> so it's going to be on a Thursday night sometime in August. Nice okay. and hot. Yeah. Well, it'll be cooler in Bozeman. True. 1-1's one the count. Bases are still loaded. So I think I'm going to try to figure out a way to get out to Yellowstone because I think it, you fly into Yellowstone. Oh, inside, inside pitch. I think you fly into like Yellowstone something there in Montana. I don't have a pitch count on McNamara, but he's thrown quite a few just in this first inning. Outside. 3-1. Trying to get a crowd coming in. Going up here. Three one count. Pitches on the way down the middle. Fly it out. Just underneath Miller's hand. One run a score though. It just dropped underneath. It was kind of a line drive that he just couldn't get to, but he fielded it nicely off the hop. If he had one more step, he probably could have brought it in for the out. But he didn't, so that's uh your your uh, runs are 2 nothing now. Bases are still loaded. And Gavin Brewers, the DH, is the batter, number three. A lot of these teams here lately last Outside, week. Outside, low, last week, for, but a strike. 
Kept hitting them all to the left field. I said, we just need to move Miller over there and give mm. him a chair. Sit over <laughs> there. You know. Do a uh, a shift in the outfield. Yep. Just don't need a, don't need no right fielder. Nope. <laughs> move him over. Although that one shot would have been a home run. Yeah. Because <laughs> no way it would have been over there. Instead of an out. That should have been two outs, in yep. my opinion. I, I'm still interested if anybody, especially if you're watching on Facebook, if you uh, give us a comment or two whether you thought that was safe or not, just because I know you guys can go back and see it. Outside pitch, 1-1's one, the count. Bases are still loaded. Yeah, Brooks last week threw somebody out in right field, so I think that was in a uh, Lakeway game. He can do it. But it doesn't hurt to have a pitcher's arm in right, right. field. Yeah. Outside, outside the white, yeah. it almost came in. I don't think the William White crowd liked that. They felt like that was a strike home. Yeah, they can't see it from no. their side. <laughs> we're, we're right behind it. I've seen it called strike, though. Oh, yeah. I don't think Piazza's going to go for it. Nope. Pop up. Looks like it's going to go to second. Hard's got it. Underneath it, put it. Hard, yep. Yeah. That'll do it. Not bad. You know, it could have been worse. Bases loaded earlier, but uh, we got out of it with one run. I mean, two runs scored. It's time, to our, uh, time for us to see if we can go hit. We'll catch you back at the bottom half of this first. Taking a break. All right, we're back here in a 2 nothing ball game, bottom of the first inning. Uh, Carson Hard's the batter, right? Yep. And then um, I've already forgot who the pitcher was. I think it was something Brewer. I'm looking it up. Give me a second. That first pitch was just on the outside corner for a strike. Oh, yeah. Just I was, I was close. Yep. Not Brewer. It was Braxton Lewis. Not close at all. But he's got two strikes on Hard. Outside. One, two. It's got some heat on it. Wish we had a. I actually have a radar. I should start bringing that. I have an old one. got one down there. I have an old one. Let me check that out. Got a little contact. A little movement on that one as he swings and misses. One out, no runners at the bat. Number 12, Mark Sacrament. Yeah, I see that thing, but I don't know if you can see it. 
Hey, you watch it. See if you can tell me what blinking. it is. Yeah, yeah, something's blinking. Next pitch. The 90. I couldn't see it. But I need to figure out how to do that because that'd be cool if we can get that on the screen. Wouldn't that be cool? Yep. I'm going to go talk to him, see how he does it. Pitch on the way. Blake, that broke all the way across the. One more. <laughs> you can see the movement for sure in these pitches. One ball, one strike, one out. Two nothing to score. Sackerman's batting. Another outside pitch. Two ones to count. One out. Is that 89? Yeah, I got to really figure out what that is. I'm all jealous now. Two twos the count. Movement on that one. Surprised he didn't call it. Yeah, that was a breaking pitch. A little bit inside. 76 miles an hour. Full count. That's Make that a walk. Yeah. But that's part of getting a run. You got to get on base first. And that's going to bring up Nate Ray. Nate Ray. Sacramento at first. Nate Ray up the bat. Zero the score. Bear get in the lead. First pitch is on the way. Looks like that was high, and that's what he caught it. Let's go, Braxton. Fill it up here. Braxton Lewis steps off. Looking in the dugout for a second. I completely forget that they have headsets to the catcher. Yeah. That's new. Low. Right down the middle, but low. Right down the center. Who's the middle? It would be a strike, right? <laughs> I missed the speed on that. That was coming on pretty fast. It's on the way. Fouled off. I'm guessing that's 90. It's at least 90. Yeah. I can't tell if it's a 93 or a 90. Yeah, it's kind of like it's switched out a little bit. We needed like a, another camera pointing down at theirs, and we put that on our. Use their take. Yeah. Can you bring that to all of our games? Yeah. Two one count delivered. Another low. He likes it low in the zone. He's got to get the call. Three one. Three one now. Yep. Run at first. One out. Nate Ray's at the plate. Braxton Lewis is on the mound. Kicks delivers right in the middle. Fouled back. Full count. Bye, Nate. Just missed it. Good cut. That's going to be a nice shot. To, uh, but he hauled it in. He, went, he tried to go down the right field line. Didn't quite get enough of it. I thought there for a second that he had a chance. But instead, it's just a pop-up down the right field line. Runner goes back to first. So, 2 nothing ball game in the bottom of the first. One on, two outs. Cole Hendrickson batting for the Guts. Not a movement on that one. 76 miles an hour. Like, it's moving a good halfway across the plate. It's not just falling down, yeah, it's moving across. It. <laughs> like I, yeah, hey, that one, that one snuck in. Yeah, a late call. Oh, two's the count. Same pitch. Oh, three, same pitch, and that does it for the goes in the bottom of the first inning. The score is 
two nothing. We'll see you back here at the top of the second. Okay, we're back here for the top of the second inning, and uh, we've got uh, Luke Whitehead. Like you said, they're throwing the kitchen sink at him today. He's on the mound, and uh, fouled out of play for the first pitch. The batter is 40, 40 Mason Grube. I, keep, I can't tell if it's... <laughs> Mason Groovy. That's where we're going with Heath. Lines it foul. Yes, left man. side. So it does make you wonder where, where are all these players coming from. <laughs> Did they That's grow them in Farragut that way? Oh, yeah. Pop up to left field. Miller brings it down for out number one. One out, no runner. Number two. I mean, we're used to that in football yeah. where we see players moving into Maribel. I guess they do it for baseball too. I just, I, all I'm saying is I just don't see that many people growing right. up in Farragut. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying there's not. Some of them have to be transplants, what I'm trying oh, to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's moving out west of here. Oh, one's the count. And that's, we're back to the leadoff hitter in Lucas. Lucas Buckner. One one. One out. Batter calls time. Did you watch any of the Tennessee baseball this weekend or no? No, I didn't get a chance to. Shows bunt, 
Nothing right, doing. Yeah, they swept LSU. I don't mm -hmm. care how good LSU is. Anytime you sweep LSU is a good thing in baseball. Yeah, we were either on a baseball field or in the gym. Ball's hit the right. It's going to get right. down, and it's going to be fair. It's going to at least be a double. It took a down. bad bounce. It's probably going to be a triple. Well, no, he held it up. Not much Brooks could do there the way the bounce happened. They hit the... I'm really surprised they didn't try for third. I know it. <laughs> they, they knew that arm. That's it, yeah. That, that arm was going to gun him down like... <laughs> oh, gosh. What was his name? I can't think of the guy's name. Uh, well, I can't think of it. He used to be a player for... I'm going way back for St. Louis that I was at a game and I saw him... It's the longest, hardest, straightest online throw I've ever right. seen. It was like a, it was like a pitch. Yeah. From the first pitch is fouled. In the court. That's Delandis Davida. Anyway, it was like a line drive. Looked like he was pitching it from there to the catcher. Oh wow. I cannot think. Oh, Mark Witten. You remember that name, Mark I Witten? That name. You used to call him Hitting Witten. It wasn't. The best hitter in the Any world. Any relation but. to Jason Witten? No, I doubt it. A, Ball goes out to right, center field. Center field, yeah. Stewart's underneath. He's going to yeah. tag, tag up. up. It'll be okay. safe at third. But that's two outs with a runner at third. Still have an opportunity to get out of this with no runs. That Merrick up to bat. Two nothings are score. We are in the top of the second inning with two outs and a runner at third. Whitehead's on the mound. Ball one. The batter has like tape on his helmet. Like is it it's got something taped to it? I can't it's like he has doesn't matter. He, Pops it up to right center. Hard might bring it in a second. Got it. And that'll do it. Hey, that's what you want. That's it. We'll get you so. in and out. We're still in it. Let's see if we can get some hits and get a, get a lead in this one. We'll be back for the bottom of the second inning in just a few moments. Hey, we're back here, Charlie Puello Field. Bottom of the second inning, Davis Knight tries your batter, and uh, Lewis is still on the mound. Two nothing ball game. Nice, nice shot man. over second. I'll take that. Well, there's a first hit. 
of the day. So I got a good compliment of the Potter uh, team. Uh, Ethan, Bella, and uh, Maribel, they were saying, hey, you guys are a pretty good, solid hitting team. You know? Yeah. And I guess just watching all the time, I don't really notice it, but that's their takeaway of us. Yeah. You guys are hitting well. Miller's the batter. He shows bunt. Misses it. He's had Struck a couple one. of uh, really nice bunts last few games that have done some damage for us. Moved the runners around and caused havoc as far as how to play it. Outside pitch to the left-handed batter. Evens account 1-1. This glad with my old eyes, I'm not up there watching these breaking pitches. I'd be ducking <laughs> on all of them. Laying down on the ground. Yep. Yeah, anything inside like that. Yep. Inside pitch called strike. I mean it was on the it was on the corner. It wasn't. I'd probably be in the dugout, I'd lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going out there, coach. <laughs> I mean Let's just face it, I wouldn't I couldn't do it in any pitching in high school level right now. I'd be scared of it. Runner goes, no throw, stands up at second. Got us a steal. Two twos the count. So it hits a run, could get us on the board. And keep it moving. Two two is on the way, it's outside, ball three. So funny, we, Davis three, two. still on the base there. He's still in a couple, and then Brooks stole one, and the two of them together, you can't tell them apart. It's like, they both run the same same speed, <laughs> so. <laughs> it's like, oh, they stole a base. Well, it's a good time to steal, because it was sure. like they were taking, they were surprised that he ran. Ball four on the outside. So now all of a sudden the Govs have two on, no outs. They got Hunter Stewart at, at the plate. Having a small little mound visit between the shortstop and the pitcher. Make the uh, umpire to go do the walk of shame, turn around. I think I would just, if I was coaching, I would just do that just to have that. Like, can I be the one that makes him walk out <laughs> as soon as he gets here to leave? And break it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good talk. Pitch on the way, it was high and inside, but he's, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a tempting pitch. He swings at it and misses it. He was ready to hit something. No balls, one strike, no outs. Zero, Farragut in the lead. Runners at first and second for Gus. Swing and a miss. A good breaking ball to make him swing after that inside pitch. 0-2 oh, count. Looks back at second. Nothing's happening. That speed. Yeah, it looked like a um, pitcher came set and turned. Inside. One, two. He's trying to throw a lot of breaking pitches that aren't landing. They've got action in the bullpen down there. Fair, get Good. Nice hit, uh, hit right at the second baseman. Not much anybody could do. If that would have been left or right, it would have had a chance. But pretty much hit right at the center. I said second. I meant center field. Yeah, give that another couple feet either way, and he had a chance to not get there.
That's going to bring Bird to the plate, who, in my opinion, threw someone out in right field. Yeah. Fouls out, out of play. Not out, out of play. Fouls out of play, that's what I'm trying to say. Strike one. Got runners at first and second. One out, two zero the score. Bear get in the lead. Outside. One and one's a count. So did he sign yet? Uh, it's the, the next couple 29th. of days or something. Okay, okay, it's this month. I knew it yeah. didn't sign at the other period, but he's going to sign on the 29th. Right. I saw some pictures where I think he got his gear or whatever. Yeah. 2-1 as the ball goes inside to him. <coughs> Gets excited. I'm sure he's excited about that oh, part. Oh, yeah, definitely. Getting a little bit closer into the season. He wanted to do it sooner, but I, I had to give him a two-week window for yeah. testing and stuff. So, buddy, you got to wait. <laughs> right. 2-1 count. There we go. Hit grounder this short. Got a chance at a double play. Yeah, double play gets out of the inning. <laughs> and that'll do it for the Govs. Hey, they got some hit. They got a hit. We'll Put a little bit of pressure on them. Just keep doing that and keep, uh, keep pitching. <laughs> so that'll do it for the bottom of the second inning. Two nothing's your score. We'll be back here in the top of the third. All right, and here we are, top of third inning. Eli Evans is your batter. Whitehead still on the mound. Well, that was, I thought that could have snuck over for a strike as it kind of clipped the outside corner, I thought, but they caught it. Oh, ball. Next pitch is low and away. Ball, two. Pitch, swing and a miss for strike one. Again, the batter is Eli Evans. Two nothings are score. Farragut scored two in the first. It's been goose eggs for everybody since. Three ones are count. Make that four ones. He walks the leadoff batter. We got some guys running up to the full Michael, Michael Delf is the left-handed batter. Oh. Number twenty-four is you got a runner at first. Pitch on the way. Ball's hit right at Brooks and Wright. Yeah, Got another chance at him, but doesn't get him. Should call that one out to, as a makeup play. Make That's about as close the other way. That... <laughs> one out, run at first. It's a bat number 17, Brennan Siegler. Siegler's the batter. 
with one out after the line drive to the right field. <clears throat> Throw over to first, nothing doing. Not even sure what nothing doing means. It's just one of the... See, when you're on the radio, you start questioning everything you say. Sounded professional. I'll let you have it. <laughs> Harry Carrius. Nice. Bunt down. Oh, nice bunt. Yeah. It's, unless it hits that. Oh. All right. He tried to watch it go over the line. It didn't quite make it. Nice bunt. That's going to bring up uh, runners at first and second with one. Let's get on Coach Young about mowing you, the grass out there. He's got to make it. Go yes, that's right. Kind of shift the plate he need, that way. needs to, like, mow it between the innings. So it, yeah, exactly. You know, so it does it the way it. <laughs> And when we're doing it, it's facing infield. You don't mow it. You just, like, take a brush out there. And <laughs> Move them over. Of course, Coach Young doesn't think as advanced as we do. That's true. About That's why baseball. he's down there, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not up in the professional booth like us. <laughs> have that kind of thought process. Ball is hit well to right. Left center, Stewart I mean, nice. Oh, nice catch. Come on, Stewart. His diving oh. catch. I check second. I want the second check it. He said he was safe. That's. I'm not sure about that. Again, he may have been. I guess he did fall down though. Quite like everybody else, though, we were. Admiring the, the catch. Yeah. He just seemed like he was walking into third. Yeah. Like you would think yeah. if he was. Again, I can't tell. What do I know? <laughs> Should I ask Coach Young, who is <laughs> a tactician? Runner goes, throw down to second. He is out. All right, guys. And that'll do it for the top of the third. Good defense by the Govs all the way around. And uh, the Govs are down 2 nothing. We get a chance to. Put some more runs on the board, tie this thing up. We'll see you in the bottom of the third in a couple of minutes. All right, we're back at Playo Field here at William Blunt. Caden Clarkson up for the Govs. Score is 2-0. Farragut in the lead. First pitch. The ball. Just run away. Ball two. Bottom of the third, 2-0 the score. Farragut in the lead, pitch on the way. Nice cut. 2-1 the count. Right, 
Clarkson fouls that one out of play. Right field side. Two to the count, no outs. Zero the score. Clarkson in the box. Nice cut. Nice Take hit. That one out to left field. Left fielder's there for the out. Yeah, we're just. It feels like we're hitting him at him. Just, I mean, that wasn't right at him, but uh, not quite. Can't quite get the gap. I thought the sun would a little bit, of course, but the line up with uh, Carson Hart. Pitcher delivers. First pitch, check, swing, strike. Second pitch, high outside for a ball, 1-1 one, one count. <clears throat> pitch outside for a ball, 2-1 the count. Both bullpens have action. Get right back to second. Got to field it. Throw to first for the out. Out number two in the inning. Coming up is third baseman for the Cubs, Mark Sackerman. Up down for the Cubs, number 12, Mark Sackerman. Pitch on the way. Oh. Ah, he ducked. Taking that one on the back there, but I don't blame him. As hard as this guy's throwing up, I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> one ball, no strikes, two outs. Pitch outside, one or two balls. No strikes, two outs. They hit right back up the center by another side. hit. That'll drop out into center field. Brings up Nate Ray for the guns. Two outs run at first. Now batting number seven, Nate Ray. <laughs> Nate Ray up for the Govs. Sakharin is at first. Two outs. The turn away. Outside for a ball. Nate Ray fouls that one off to the right out of play. 1-1 one, one the count, two outs. 2-0 two, the score, bottom of the third. Bear get in the lead. Ball gets away from the catcher. Going to move Sacramento up to second for us. Turns around second to give it a look. He'll go back. Catcher really didn't pop up very quick to go after that one. So we have a runner at second. Two balls, one strike, two outs. 2-0 to score, bottom of the third. Bear get in the lead. It's on the way. Just outside. Wow. I think Nate thought that was going to be a strike. 
I'm taking hiring. what you get. Yeah, Hoff was looking at him, and Nate was looking at the owner. <laughs> they agreed. Yeah, well. <laughs> Two outs, three ones your count. Oh, there we go. Good frame job. Yeah. Just outside corner. I saw a video the other day with the ball came back, hit the backstop, and somehow the catcher caught it and then tried to frame it right after. <laughs> did he get the call? That's he funny. did not get the call, but still, it's still funny. Swing and a miss, and that does it. So, Govs leave one on, no score. 2-0. We'll be back in just a minute. And we're back here at Charlie Puello Field, a 2 nothing ball game here in the top of the fourth inning. You got, I think it was Gavin Brewer at the plate. Whitehead still on the mound. First pitch, I guess it was high. Ball one. So stay tuned for the end of this game. Uh, we will give out a uh, Murphy Bobcat extra effort uh, player of the game. And uh, they also get a uh, skate uh, a party pack. All right. Uh, it's actually a pretty good one if you'd like to do that. It's like four, I think it's four free entries or something like that. Ball outside, and that brings the count to 2-2. Two, two. Sun, that time of day, it's starting to make the pitcher tip their hat down. Inside, ball three. Yeah, you want to challenge him here. Make him hit his way on. Don't just give it to him. Ah, that was a little bit high, so ball four. Lead off walk. It's going to bring up Mason Groovy. And that'll bring Young out. Uh, don't know if he's going to swap it out. Gives him a ball. So 
Not sure who it's going to. Can't see. But either way, we're going to take a break while they have a pitching change. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. All right, we're back here after the pitching change. Jake Farmer on the mound for the Cubs now. First pitch is outside. He has a little bit different delivery. Maybe they mess him up a little bit. Groovy, Groovy is the batter. One on, no outs. Got the low strike. That's good. One one's the count. Fires over the first. Nothing doing over there. See if the runner gets back. One one count. Pitch actually had some good movement. Left field pop up to Miller, yep. Out number one, Ronnie goes back to first. One out, runner at first. That's the bat number two, Lucas Buckner. All right, we got Buckner. I think he's the he's the leadoff <laughs> batter here. One on, one out, and we are in the bottom of the fourth inning. This game's gone fairly quickly so far. We started right at about 6.05 and it's 7.05 now. He fouls off out of play to, on the tennis courts left left field. He's off the tennis courts now. Pitch is on the way. That was a nice pitch that Skirted the outside and came in at the right time for strike one on the outside to the left-handed batter. O2 is your count. Oh, man, that looked just as good as the other one. Maybe a little low, I guess, maybe. Might have been. It was outside, another outside. No, it was out. It was on the inside part of the plate. Not inside, it was on the outside corner is what I'm saying. But it was over the plate, must have been low.
One two's the count. Ball is hit well. Yeah, so well he's watching it hit the trees in right field for a two run homer. They had knocked some squirrels out of that tree. <laughs> yeah, Brooks barely moved. As that was Buckner, I think, who hit that. Their leadoff guy. So that puts total of four on the board, two in the first and two here in the fourth. To reset, you got one out. Up for the Admirals, number six, Landis Davila. I'm just disappointed uh, Brooks didn't try to climb the wall. Yes. <laughs> True athlete would have I know. caught that, right? Run through it. Well, he's got another chance. Yeah, that ball hit. Oh, yeah, we got you. He's got him. He's out at the baseline at that point. So the ball hit. Did it hit the track and then hit the wall, or did it hit, it hit the, the wall? wall on the track. Okay. Yeah. Brooks played that one nicely. And he throws it into second, and they trap him at second. No runners from Bookin, Jake Merrick. Merrick's your batter, two outs. So overall, I mean, you got the homer that hurts, right? And you had the rough first inning where you had bases loaded. Should have been out of that inning, probably twice. Uh, one of those. Two so O's your count. I still uh, argue that play at first, <laughs> but I can't see it. I can't go back and look at it. Watch it later, right? Yeah. File your appeal. Yes. Ball was, I didn't mean to say it was a ball. I meant the ball was on the way for strike one. See? It's a radio we'll thing. Take Two ones your count. Two outs. Two runs already scored here. One off that two run homer. Two one pitch on the way. A little bit low for ball three. Come on, Jake. Like, is that tape holding the guy's helmet together? I can't tell what it's there for. That's a... Oh, I guess it's low. This is the hardest. From this... From this... Uh, press box, the low pitch is the hardest one for us to be able to see because there's no way for us to see through the umpire and the catcher. But that was ball four. Runner at first, two outs. First pitch is inside as a breaking ball inside to Eli Evans. It's kind of what we were talking about at home. Brooks and I worry about a team like this that probably they're accustomed to fastballs all the time. Go out there and change it up just throw slow. Yeah. See how they adjust. Throw back to first. I, Ironically. I heard another team that had played Farragut previously, I can't remember who it was, said kind of what rattled them a little bit. Off speed. Right. Back over to first. I mean, defensively, I would say that Govs have played pretty decent today. I mean, they... if anything, I would say that the Admirals have been the one that's made a couple of mistakes, you know? At least a couple of base running mistakes, one that they got away with, and then the other one where Brooks threw them out. I think there was another one, too, that we got some. I can't remember where it was. I thought we got somebody else somewhere else. It was close over at first. One one's the count. 
to Eli Evans. Eli's the cleanup hitter. Outside pitch, 2 1. Block by Cole. Yeah, that's a good point. We haven't heard much from Cole, and that's a good thing when you're a catcher. <laughs> I say, I feel like this has been a low foul game. <clears throat> Get twos across the board, except for the score, obviously. Batter calls time. Resets his gloves. Farmer was taking his time. He pitches quick, but then he hits him. So it's like he, he made him call time, swapped his gloves, and as soon as he got in, he threw it. But then he hit him. I like the, I like the idea. Just didn't, just didn't execute it. Got two outs. Got a runner at second and first. Delph is your batter. Lefty. Righty versus lefty here. Sun definitely kind of right in the catcher's face. Farmer calls for some help from the catcher. Quick conversation. Got to make sure we're on the same page. Quick little visit. All right. No balls, no strikes. Two on, two out. Runners at first and second in a four nothing ball game. Ball is hit sharply past second base. That could be trouble. Could be a double. He's going to hold up. Two run. Two more runs are going to score from that though, and that opens up the game a little bit more. Six nothing. Farragut. Really hope to get out of that with two outs. Let's <clears throat> bring up Siegler, right-handed yeah. batter. There's one guy starts showing off. <laughs> well, I mean, even though you, they're seeing different pictures quite often. You know, they've been through the lineup. Right. That's just, you know, if there's some point, <laughs> they're going to get used to that speed being a little bit different. His eyes shaded out there, right. So. Nice slower pitch there. It was way out in front of. Strike one. Like straight back, center field to right. Everybody's kind of shaded. Yeah, you can see the shade of the press box going that way. Oh, one runner at second. Six nothing ball game. Top of the fourth inning. Four runs have already come across the plate in this inning. Shows bunt. Farmer fields it. Throws it the first. For out number three. That'll do it here at the top of the fourth inning. We'll be back here in the bottom. Be back in a couple minutes.
All right, Henderson's your batter. Bottom of the fourth. First pitch strike. Got a new pitcher. I'm not sure I have their backup guys. Is that number 11? I'm not sure I have. Number 11. I don't have who that pitcher is. Hall. Hall. Six nothing's the score. Inside. I think the count is one one. One two, I think. It's either two two or one two, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the umpire correct us yet. Our scoreboard is not correct at this moment. Ooh, that, that almost hit him. Pitch. He's called those earlier. Well, I've seen at least. <laughs> uh, it's either 2 2 or 3 2. I'm not sure. Sorry. I didn't realize you were gone. I don't know if it's 2 2 or 3 2. Do you know? I couldn't see. We're going to go. Three it's 3-2. Two. Two. is 3-2. Full count. What'd you move for? Trying to let you make the play. <laughs> Let's never get, you never get used to it. The worst one, the worst one is Lenore City because like if you're in the right spot at Lenore <laughs> City, mm -hmm. they have the same kind of net. Henderson Fouled off. It down the left of the line for foul. Full count. But it's, they got the same kind of net, and it's just like yeah. it's you know it's not like a major league where it's real tight. You know, it, it moves a little bit, and you <laughs> that one's been up there a while, so yeah, might find a weak point. Outside. Ooh, he framed that one. If you ask me, yeah. outside. Cole thought truck. he had a walk. Yeah, I thought he was thought it was a walk, but apparently it's not. Well, one try. down. Number thirty, Davis, nice ride. So how many times you've been watching those videos on Facebook and the jump scare, the little jump yeah. scare ball hits the screen? Yeah. It's crazy how that gets you. <laughs> Strike one inside corner. Up high for. Yeah, it's got kind of an over the top delivery, doesn't it? Works quick. Yep. No pitch clock needed for him nope. inside. That, that did happen in the LSU game. I couldn't tell. LSU tenant swing and a miss. Actually, I guess he fouled it off a little bit. In the LSU game, the pitcher, they had the clock on him. And I don't know if he has to actually be delivered or starting your delivery. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how that works. Ball has popped, popped up, up to right. right. Looks like he's on skates. He was having a little trouble seeing it at the beginning. Yeah. Sun's definitely. Sorry for yeah. <laughs> Should give him the. Yeah. Can't give a fair good guy. No runners for number four, Ethan Miller. First pitch is outside for ball one. As much as I started off with Piazza behind the plate as the umpire, he's <laughs> he's been around the zone for the most part. As you ball two to Miller. Uh -oh. And Miller gets a hold of one. It's gonna Go for a Good hit by solo Miller. home run by Miller. I'll take that. That gets his juices flowing. Yeah, it's kind of like a right field and center field look at each other. They hit it right center. Go for this or? Right center, Homer. Good job, Miller.
Now somebody's got to go find it. <laughs> Good luck. You'll watch the uh, I was laughing. You'll watch the dads go for a walk. <laughs> No. Should do replay. Yeah. As they come through. Or whatever. We have a should have a film out there yeah. in the woods. <laughs> so, it's even better if you are if we already know where it I'm is. I'm disappointed. I don't see his dad on the move. I guess he's <laughs> <laughs> strike one. <clears throat> one of those stick to bat out there and see what happens. That's right. Strike two to that Stewart could see. Yeah. 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 Again, the uh, Hall is pitching quick. Ball hit up the middle. He'll be on base. Hunter's had a good day. Okay, Brooks. Time to get one. Two out, run at first. For number 11, Brooks Bird. All right, you got two outs. Stewart at first, Bird at the plate. This is a good time to be facing the pitcher because they can't see. Flat. Ball gets through. Not sure. Hey. Yeah. It's like he, I guess he thought he fielded it after he, again, we don't have a replay. It's hard for me to tell you what happened on the radio because I'm not sure what happened on the radio. I'm not sure what happened on the radio. Basically, the ball was hit up the middle. Yeah. Shortstop looked like he covered it. I thought he had, from my angle here, it looked to me like he filled it, and I guess he thought he either stepped on the back or the guy was standing there waiting on it. But yeah, I'm not sure. Stewart works out. Here. Works out in our favor. Yeah, we'll take it. It's not an error. No. So there's your hit. <laughs> I don't think it's a, to me that's a hit. So two on, two out. Outside. Parks. First pitch was a strike. Put it in play, see what happens. A little bit slower change up there. He didn't, he didn't want to swing on it. No balls, two strikes, two outs, 6 1 to score. Bear get in the lead. Look for that outside pitch. That's where it was. There it was. Left That'll do it. That'll do it for the bottom of the fourth inning. Not before the Govs got, get one. Your score is 6 1. We'll be back here for the top of the fifth in there a couple minutes. Go. One for the dad walk. <laughs> get a camera on him. Got three. Of
All right, here we're at Charlie Boilo Field in the top of the fifth inning. Score for Farragut, six. One for the Govs after they got one in the bottom of the fourth inning. Now, I mentioned there a minute ago, uh, I don't know if you guys heard me, but uh, the dad's here. Ball's hit to short. Voted cleanly. Uh, Out of first. It's kind of funny sitting up here. You'll see uh, when one of the players hits one over the dad's will Take what I call the dad walk, and they head out and start looking for the <laughs> baseball. So Miller had four guys going out there, his dad and what several no others. So. <laughs> we'll see what they come away with. Excuse me, Where was your batter? Outside pitch, ball one. Not a bad miss. Didn't talk about is it Castile on the mound? Is it Brandon Castile on the mound. Brooks with a pop up, no caught it out there. Yeah, you, know, you see the score six one, but I'd still say I mean other than you know and I'm not saying anything about McNamara's uh, first inning, but Pitching's been decent yeah. against this team. You know, if you if you they're throwing most. I mean, like we said earlier, consider what we're up against. Yeah, yeah, not been bad. Uh, one owes the count. Castillo's gotten two quick outs. The sun is probably not in the pitcher's face anymore as much anyway. Inside pitch. Rio. Shifted more towards uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, second base but still having a little trouble. Another going to walk to 40. Two outs, run it first. Now batting number two, Lucas Buckner. That's going to bring up Buckner, leadoff batter. I think it's kind of funny watching them. Somebody's little routine. Yeah. Bats. Well, I guess they're, you know, habits. Oh, yeah. Find something that makes you comfortable. Get you. Get you boss set. hit to left. Wow. Out of uh, play. Not out of play, but hits the wall on the bounce. Foul. We'll just say it's a long strike. For strike one. Got a runner at first. Buckner halfway shows bunt. One one's account, two outs. Six one ball game. Nice down the corner. One, two's the count. Buckner steps out. Of course, I said that about the sun, and now it looks like it's hitting him again. That eclipse. <laughs> Crazy eclipse. Yeah. The one that nobody saw right. in East Tennessee. I don't think it happened. Uh, yeah, I think it was all made up. Yeah. Conspiracy theorist. Yeah. Outside, ball two, two, two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Delivered, ball is hit between short and first. It's gonna move the runner over to third. Got oh man, just missed. Yeah, they, the ball was thrown to third. Wasn't able to corral it. I think it would have been safe anyway. Um, and that'll move the hitter up to second on the throw. Probably mind the aggressiveness there. He made it close enough to to make it close. 
this point, you're just trying to get outs. Yep. Because now you're in, you know, you're facing their number two hitter, Landis Davila or Davida. I can't tell if that's a T or not. I'm gonna go with. I think it's a. I think it may be an L. One O is the count. Runners at second and third. I think the Cubs would rather just pitch to this guy and get the out, even though he's a lefty. Not sure the whole lefty righty thing works as much in high school. Fouled off the plate. Two ones account. Still gets the ball back from the umpire. Hopefully get a sign from Piazza. No clue who that umpire is, but maybe he'll hear it and think That's it's funny. Just, yeah. <laughs> maybe he may, maybe not. I don't even know if I think it's funny, but I keep saying it. <laughs> Three ones account. Balls hit the left center. It's going to be trouble. Probably going to score both. It's going to be a double at least. They'll probably hold him there for two. But that drives in two runs with two outs. So now your score is 8 1. We're going to have a little bit of a visit on the mound. Now batting number 10, Jake Merrick. They're literally just hitting them when we're not. So it looks like it's going to be a uh, just a conversation here. So we'll stay right here. Merrick's going to be the batter with a runner at second. Two more runs scored in this inning. They've actually scored he runs with two outs today, right? Conversation's over. Everybody gets reset. Facing the three. Three hole here. High pitch. This is Merrick, the second baseman. Eight one ball game. Top of the fifth inning. Inside pitch, ball two. No action in the either dugout. So. You're out there for the long haul on this it. one. Get it. It'll be interesting to see how these guys do for Farragut. You know, you never know at, the, you know, at this level. Anytime you have a D1 guy. I see them batting somewhere else on with the in the in the professionals. Balls hit the left field for a single, and that's going to score the run from second. It's going to make it nine-one. Now batting number eight. Now Eli Coach Young is going to come out. Looks like he'll replace Castile. He's throwing strikes, but you got hitters. That can hit. Like uh, Nate Ray coming up. I didn't see who gave the ball to. I can't tell. Yeah, I think it's Nate. Okay, now I just couldn't see. All right. Well, with that, 
We will take a break and be back when he's now, ready to throw. Be back a couple minutes. All right, Nate Ray's on the mound. Nine ones your score, two outs. One on at first. First pitch strike. Nice pitch. Looks like Nitro's moved to th first. Sacramento third. Sacramento is at third. Short stop. Hard. Yeah, it looks like everybody else is yeah. where they were. Ball gets away. Runner goes to second. He doesn't seem to do that much as far as I'm watching where the catcher doesn't. So far when I've been watching, Kendrick's done pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he does it away games, but at home games he's done good. Yeah, he's done well. I don't see that that often. That's what I know. Trying to pull that one back in. Two ones account. Nine one. I think I've already said that. This is your score. Two outs. Two one count. Ray delivers. There we go. That was up on the top end of the zone for strike two. Two two. Delivered, swing and a miss. That'll do it for this inning. Not before the Admiral score three more to make it 9-1. Govs will try to uh, put more runs on the board when we come back. We'll take a couple minute break.
All right, Hards at the plate. First pitch swinging gets past the shortstop. Nice work. Looks like the shortstop didn't look it in very well. But don't really care. He's on base. Proves the point. Put it in play. Anything can happen. Mark Sacramento. Sacramento's going to be your batter. I think the pitcher is Hall. I think that's what his name was. Same one that was out there the last bit. Throws over to first. Gotta gets away. Oh, going to make the run. We're going to be waiting on him. Oh, wow. He tried to do a little jump step there. Ball just didn't quite get. The throw was over to first. It got away from the first baseman. But it just, it's that Coach Young, it's that Coach Young grass. That's it. Stopped it. That's it. You know, he's he, going to do a better he's supposed job. To, he's got to mow it for <laughs> for when we're. Yeah. No, it just didn't quite get away. Yes, I'm joking about the grass. <laughs> grass looked great. Sure does. I'm Ball inside. I've asked him to come on my yard. He's a blast. <laughs> I like the stripes out there. That's great. <clears throat> one one count. This will be drifting out of the play on the right field side. So you got one out. There is one out. That's not on the board. Two twos the count. Balls hit over right shortstop. Over I'll bring up Another hit. Nate Ray. For the Gubs. So one on, one out. Right. Scoreboard's a little crazy. If you don't put the out on there, it messes up your count if you start in the count. Anyway, I have no reason to explain that to you all, but we're, we got it all right now. Nine and one's the score. Raise the batter. We are in the bottom of the fifth inning. Hall delivers. Make that two zero. So here's a question for you, Mr. Bird. When you're between between your senior and freshman year of college, oh, line drive right at third. Got Caught him it. out. Yeah. Third baseman throws it quickly over to first. Yeah, got him off. It was it was close, but I think he got him. Good throw by the third baseman too. Well, that does it for the bottom of the fifth. Just like that, we will see you back here at the top of the sixth. The score is nine one. Figure it. I'll ask that question in a minute. All right.
Okay, we're back here at Charlie Puelo's field. Charlie Puelo field. Uh, nine ones your score. Michael Deff's the batter. Nate Ray's the pitcher still. First pitch is a strike. Foul. Foul. Yep. So Fair gets scored two in the first, four in the fourth, and three in the fifth. The Govs got their lone run in the fourth inning for your 9-1. The hits are 8-6. Eight, eight to the Admirals. 1-2 is your count. I want to thank the listeners on Truth Radio today. truth is, is we've done our best <laughs> as far as talking to you. <laughs> this is all you get. It's what you, you get what you pay for. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Two twos account. Number 24, the left-handed batter, Delph, takes all three. That was a good pitch. Good, he almost chased it. Why, Nate? But that runs at full three-two. Balls hit high to right center. Miller, Nick Miller makes it. Even their pop-ups are higher. <laughs> That's going to bring up Siegler. It'd be interesting to see the list of where these kids are going. I know it. Which brings me to the question. So, Brooks is about to go to college. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> He's finishing his senior year here. Will he play? Will he play travel ball between now and then? Like, do they have? Do you play in the summer for? He played. Uh, I know they can do it. I yeah. just don't know if he's going to do it. Right? He played for no chance for the last couple of years out of Knoxville, but Zane um, Chavez. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I th I think he's going to talk to the coaches and see what their thought process is about it. I mean, at this point, he just convert to a pitcher. Does he still want to? Yeah, he's going to be do all that I stuff. I think or? he'll just be a pitcher only. So. Maybe he'll get the Roger Clemens deal where you, there just, you go. You just show up when you're pitching. That's it. I was watching something the other day. Three ones account. One out here. Uh, oh, it was yesterday. It was during the baseball game. You had a uh, uh, who was it? They have a couple of baseball players. They were interviewing Chase Utley, who played for the Balls. But I think they were talking to who's the what's his name? Uh, played for the Astros. Astros. Uh, I can't think of his name. Anyway, oh, he's one of the announcers for UT, but he played for UT. Um, anyway, he was just talking about how that was his deal. Like, he didn't have to show up <laughs> unless he was pitching. Yeah. <laughs> Guess when you get that old and full yeah. of steroids. Yep, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you do what you want. Ball's hit. In the gap between short and third. So now you got two on, one out. Early first and second. One out. Now batting number three. Steroid tonight. That dude can pitch. Yeah, the thing about travel baseball that a lot of people don't think about is like if you are a pitcher only, it's still expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no discount. Yeah, and you know. And you may get the pitch, you may not. Yeah, and it's, it's really probably not all that fun if you're just no. pitching. I mean, not for travel ball, you know what yeah. I mean? Travel a long way and you may or may not get to play. Right. I can't imagine they wouldn't throw them, though. Yeah. Yeah. 
pitch so on the outside corner. Workout routine or something. <laughs> I just uh, part of me didn't know what like the coaches. I mean, you may not know the answer to this. Like the yeah. coaches give them instruction about don't throw over this much, don't throw at all. You know, yeah. we don't want you throwing any any time. I mean, it's different than a sport like football where there are no football games. In, you know, in all season. Well, I know. Going through all this with him. Um, one, two's your count. Like here in basketball, they would call and want to talk, and they would ask, you know, are you throwing any? And he'd say no. And, and most of the coaches were like, they were glad to it. hear that. Yeah. You need to play another sport. Yeah. That's kind of an age old debate, too, is everybody debates about did you play multiple sports or just one? Yeah. I think the overwhelming majority of good college coaches want you playing more than one yeah. sport. I, I heard it. I've, I've heard enough to think that's it. Exactly broadcast right. with Tom Glavin and Smoltz and those guys were, you know, very much in favor of that. Like, you need to be playing football, you need to play basketball, you need to, you know, yeah. give yourself a break. You know. And it's not even, it's not even about the, the athleticism. It's about. A lot of coaches want to see how they react in it. Yeah. You know, it's easy to react good when you're a good baseball player, right? Yeah. But if you're just a mediocre basketball player, I'm not saying you're a kid. I'm talking about yeah, anybody. Yeah. If you're just a mediocre and you don't play well, how do you react? You yeah, know? that's Because the odds are you're not going to be the best player on the new team that you're going to. All right. Looks like we're having a pitching change. We will be back here. Vasquez. You say Vasquez is going to be the? Andrew. All right. Well, we'll be back when he's ready. Take a break. All right, we're back here for the top of the sixth inning. And Andrew Vasquez is the relief pitcher here. First pitch, single, bases loaded, one out. I believe Vas Vasquez is a junior.
Now batting number 33. <clears throat> yeah, we don't know who 33 is, but obviously he's a replacement. Jake Harris. Harris? Jake Harris? That's a strike. <laughs> so you got to love those. So yeah. the ball was behind Harris, and he ducks down, leaves his bat up, and the ball hits his bat. Strike. Makes you wonder what his batting average is, because that's the type of thing that happens to somebody that's strong. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's like, how did that happen? It usually happens to the person in a slump. Yeah, bases loaded. 9-1 the score. Very good. Eli hit a ball one time in Little League. Uh -huh. And the ball... It somehow it hit behind the plate, but it had spin on it, and it rolled just on the other side of the plate. Huh. And it was in play, and nobody was looking at it. He takes off running, catcher's not paying any attention. Yeah. It's the weirdest play. I actually have it on video. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. That's baseball. And it, he was actually trying to get out of the way, and he drops his bat, like opposite of this. He drops his bat, but he yeah. hits the ball, and it's like got all this spin on it. Like you worked on it, right? Yeah. Planned it. Just like you planned it. Two ones account. It was just so odd. No one knew what to do. Like, even the umpire had to think through what just happened here. <laughs> he made the right call. It was it was in play. Yeah. Walk all right, so that's a walk, drives in a run. That makes it 10 1. One out, bases loaded to number two, Lucas Buckner. And the leadoff batter's up. Guys are in danger of being run ruled here. I mean, we still get the bat, but. Yeah, there's sometimes you get run ruled and you're like, what in the heck just happened? I, I'm not happy with the score, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but they had to, you know, we had them down there for mm -hmm. a couple of innings, you know. Yeah, we stuck with them. They haven't had the, no, you know, maybe too early to say, but they haven't had the big crooked inning yet. This, this could be it with the bases loaded and one out. I'm not saying anything about Vasquez's ability. I'm talking more about Farragut's. Come on, Andrew. Three O's account. And walk. And that'll make it 11 1. Farragut. I will say this about Farragut. They got some bigger kids, but they all look strong. Yeah. Even the smaller ones look strong. That ball's hit the left center and over Miller's head. It's going to drive in two runs. So that's going to make it 13 1 with a double. Runners at second and third. Long in. Now batting number 10, Jake Merrick. That's going to bring up Merrick. That ball is hit hard and over for a homer. So that's a three run homer. And you're starting to see Farragut just kind of. B. Farragut at this point. Yep. Well, the 
That's why they're ranked uh, pretty high up there in the state. Yeah. One in the state, one in the country. Now there's a reason. So we're going to have another change here. And I can't see who it is. Can't see the Andrew number. Andrew Klein coming on. Yep. Klein, okay. Yep. All right, so we'll take a break, and we will be back when he's ready. Okay, here we are, 16-1 ball game. I just mentioned too early, early that hadn't really had a crooked number. Now we've got seven runs in this inning. So blame it all on me. Hawn is your batter. The bases are clear after that homer. You got one out. First pitch is on the way. Outside, ball one. Make that ball too. So Wednesday night, I believe, is going to be um, balls hit over about the Miller. He brings it in for out number two. It was kind of left center. Miller tracks it down. That'll be two outs. Number 16, trying to figure out who it is as a batter. Now batting number 16, Matt Bergen. I think it said Bergen. Bergen. Doesn't, I'm not sure who it was. But anyway, two outs. First pitch outside. So anyway, Wednesday night. I think it's Hardin Valley, a 6 o'clock game. I believe that game will also be on the radio. It's also going to be senior night. So, generally, depends on timing. What we'll try to do is we'll probably come, we'll probably come on live, not necessarily for the radio, but we'll try to show the screen but we really won't be technically broadcasting, if you would, at that time until senior night is over. But we'll try to show that and let the ambient noise. Ambient might pick it up. Three ones your count. Hey, I'll be down there. Right. Yeah. yeah. So if I can get here in time, we'll just start the stream, turn that on, and let you all just hear it from there. As number 16 is walked. So Christy and I have talked about Two senior night. Gonna cry. Gotta hold it together. Gonna cry. That's it. 
I did put together a little video on Facebook that made her tear <laughs> up. I got me too, I will be honest. Why did I do that? Where was that? So I had to Where was that pitch? Compliment That's our one uh, up. Ethan Miller's grandfather down here on his Michael Jackson dancing. Oh yeah, yeah. He was looking good. Throw down to first. Try to throw behind him. Let's see if Nick will play Michael Jackson again for him. We can get him moving. Ethan Miller's grandfather. He was dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely need a dance cam. I told him, I said, it's hard to describe that on the radio. <laughs> Some things are best left off the radio. That's it. <laughs> He's got dance moves for the radio. Yeah. Two ones account, runner at first. That ball is hit up right center. Going to be caught. Nice catch. That does it for this inning. Not after they score seven. Like I said, you can blame that seven on me. I said it hadn't had a big number yet. But that 16-1 be the bottom of the six. Govs are going to have to put runs on the board to stay in this. We'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, I think the pit, we're back here at Charlie Poilo Field, bottom of the sixth inning, 16 1 game. Cole Hendricks, Hendrickson's your batter, and Roberts is the pitcher. So I don't know if it's true or not, but. Deep drive, one back. Hendrickson flies out for out number one. Um, not sure if it's true, but somebody asked me if Vitello, Vitello was here tonight. I can't see if he is or not. Should get him up here for an interview. I'm sure he, he can't, can't do that, I'm sure, but still. He would be honored to be up Yes. Yeah. We could boost his career. <laughs> Give him a pay raise. I'd love to. Nice hit. Hendrickson hits that hey. one. Davis Nightcrime. Did I say Hendrickson? Yeah, that was Davis. I, I thought I heard someone Call say. One out. Oh, I, I missed that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Big blast by Davis. Over the ball. I the wasn't line. paying attention. That's a big hit. It was. Now batting for the go. Number four. Davis Paul shot. <laughs> All right.
right, so both runs tonight have been off homers, and one of them was That's by, by Miller. Miller. He uh, he slows down a bunt. He lays down a bunt. He's on his way to third. And standing up. <laughs> a I'm triple not. off of a bunt. It went out in the uh, bullpen out there, rolled around, and those guys were on the ground. Well, it's probably a good time to bring it up. Uh, Miller is going to be the. Uh, can I make sure I'm saying this right? It's the. Uh, he gets a T-shirt tonight from. Murphy Bobcat for the uh, I can't show it on air because I can't put it in front of the camera but the Murphy's Bobcat Extra Effort All right. Award he had a homer and I guess a not really a bunt triple but he got the third he's made some good plays out in the outfield um, and his grandfather has great oh yeah well, well yeah any tie that we would have had because you know yeah. Nitra did just hit that other homer, but I think he wins on his grandfather yeah. dancing like Michael. I couldn't tell the difference between his grandfather I, I told and him, Michael I, Jackson. I thought Michael Jackson was in the crowd. But, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> Maybe he could take those moves to Skate Town because he also won the party pack. Definitely. <laughs> so yeah, how good he is on yeah, Can he do it on skates? That's yeah. the real question. He gets to, I think, take four of his best friends. Surely his grandfather will be one of them. Most definitely. <laughs> Three ones account. Stewart's at the plate. Swing and a miss. 3 2. Come on, Hunter. Sixteen two is your score. Hunter swings and misses on the outside pitch. Looks like we're down to our last batter. Mr. Bird. Let's see if, you've never heard this, let's see if Bird can be the word and get a driver run in. Or two. Outside pitch. Ball one. Another outside pitch, ball two. That's something they can always go home with. I hit Homer off that really good Farragut team back in the day. Fouls it out of play. Brooks had a good field. I know you can't say it because you're the dad, but he's had a good uh, day in the outfield too. Had a couple good throws that I think had two outs in my opinion on. Three ones the count. Outside. Here we go. Draws a walk. Keeps it alive. He's up Caden Clarkson. You're out, I was telling the guy to get rid of their laundry on the field. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> Birds at Brooks like Barry out there. <laughs> He's got to. He's got to take that as a pitcher. He's got to take it. it with him, right? I know it, yeah. Where? Because you, you never know. Yeah. Well, if it was me, I'd have it all over me oh, at this yeah. point. Especially guys at the next level, the way they hit. All right, you got first and third. Outside pitch, he swings and misses. He's a, it looks like he was just looking to hit, drive something. Robert's just kind of staying outside for the most part. Make them burn another pitcher. Works for me. I'm sure they don't have many left. Let's get into the D2 level. <laughs> we'll show them. Yeah. <laughs> no 
would do for in the bullpen. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, 3-2. I don't know what Brooks is doing, but we'll go with it. Brooks will be running on this one. Gets over the pitcher's head. And that does it for tonight's game. 16-2, Admirals win. Um, you know, it's kind of mixed mixed game. You know, I've seen a worse 16-2 game. Um, I wouldn't say I've seen much of a better 16-2 game. So, um, anyway, that'll do it. Again, Miller wins the uh, extra effort T-shirt from Murphy Bobcat and the Party Pack. We thank you for watching and listening on Truth Radio. We'll be back here for the uh, Wednesday game. And like I said, we will. my goal is to get here early enough to start the video, but we will actually won't be broadcasting until like right before the game like we normally do, Like meaning like you know, talking and all that stuff. It'll just be the ambient mic. Anyway, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great evening. See you Wednesday.